Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in March. As you can see, we have a new setup. I love it. I haven't really known where to film since I moved back in with my parents due to health reasons. I finally took the time <laughs> the past couple days to set this up. Um, I know this is not organized. We have these are not all in order. My Throne of Glass books are not all in order. These are not sorted by <laughs> author at all. And neither are these. Like, like they're not what I would want. However, not all my books are back from my apartment yet. We still have one more trip to take to move all my stuff back home. There's still books there. So I just threw in some of my favorites here in the shot. And then this is my historical romance cart. Um, I don't know if it's going to stay this way. We'll see. Um, but I'm liking it right now. And it's something and it's books behind me and that's generally what i want i don't want the back of my videos to be just a blank like a room like i had earlier anyway enough of me rambling you don't want to hear about that <laughs> i'm gonna be talking about the 18 ebooks that i downloaded for free last month in march there's not gonna be any books that i downloaded off of ku in this video but i'll let you know if the books that i downloaded for free are actually on ku if you would like to check them out. If you're curious and want to know how I downloaded all these books for free, I have a tutorial video linked down below on how I downloaded all these books for free, like legally. Like I also forgot to mention in that video, like I do not support like reading books illegally, like piracy, like that's wrong. It's like, these are all downloaded in a way to support the author. And like, they're all through like Amazon and stuff. So yeah, um, anyway. If you want to know how to download books for free uh, on a monthly, daily basis, go check out that video. I'll link it down below for you. The first book that I downloaded was Kidnapping His Forever by Shaw Hart. This is available to purchase for 99 cents. Rexley Voss just had to finish one more semester and she'll have her degree. Then she can start her own business and finally help out her parents. All that stands between her and her bright future is a film class. She's at a loss for a subject when she remembers the local lore that Bigfoot lives in the woods bordering campus. She doesn't really believe the legend, but she figures it will be an interesting subject and easy enough to film. She'll just go out into the woods and get some shots of the scenery and maybe some animal tracks, edit it together, and hopefully get a passing grade. She heads out over spring break with her camera and supplies, but instead of finding Bigfoot, she wakes up to Ezra, the rugged man who lives in the woods. He takes her to his house and she knows that she should be scared, but there's something about the kind giant that draws her in and has her falling head over heels. When it's time for her to head back to school, will Ezra be able to let her go or will he keep his kidnapped girl forever? Next, I downloaded Play to Kiss by Arizona Tate. This is still available to download for free. Princess Safira always wanted what she couldn't have and the throne is no different. She'll stop at nothing to get her hands on the crown, even if that means killing your brother. But when Princess Jade appears in court, everything changes. Now there's something else standing in her way and this someone comes with killer green eyes. Both want the same thing, only one can win. To get what their twisted hearts desire, they'll stop at nothing. But what if amidst the chaos and destruction, they find a spark of something else, something more? Will they give up the crown for each other? So this is a royalty romance that is female-female, which very interesting, I've never read a royalty romance with that rep in it. Next, I downloaded Hosed by Pippa Grant and Lily Valente. This is available to purchase for $4.99. He's bossy, arrogant, and so ridiculously hot, he should come with a warning label and a pair of flame retardant coveralls. He's also the boy who broke my heart when we were in high school. I want to move in next door to Ryan Odell, the way I want to be the virgin gamer geek suddenly in charge of running my sister's toy factory. <laughs> Too bad both are written in my stars. Yes, I'm the world's oldest virgin code writing nerd. And he is the world's hottest firefighter. And even though he intimidates the heck out of me, I can't seem to control my libido when he's around. Where's my dignity, my self-respect, my panties? Seriously, have you seen them? Anyone? <laughs> Maybe they're hiding in his room with my heart. Yeah, I know. I'm hosed, so hosed. I feel like this one is uh, gonna be really funny. Next, I have You Only Marry Once by Gail Callen. Um, I downloaded this because I have a few Gail Callen books. Can you see them? Oh, here's one, literally one right here. Right here, this one is The Grimoire Plaid. So I do have one of her books. So I was like, ooh, I see her. 
just just download it you know this is the first in a series it's available off of kindle unlimited or you can purchase it for um $2.99. Lady Elizabeth Stanwood never thought she'd be foolish enough to be alone with a man. But after a midnight rendezvous in a garden with John Mallory, she finds herself compromised and forced to marry. She cannot forget her fears that he schemed to acquire her dowry, planning to take her far away from London and all she knows. John was looking for a wife to work at his side, not a London beauty. But he's an honorable man who'd never let a woman suffer for what they'd done together. Though her distrust is infuriating, as they travel north encountering the dangers of the road, he begins to see beneath her aristocratic mask to the woman who fears she cannot live up to being his wife. They want to change for each other, but can love overcome their misconceptions. The next book that I downloaded is Rouse Woman by Lauren Daher, Donner, Donner, Donner. <laughs> I'm so bad at pronunciations. I'm so sorry. Um, this is available to purchase for uh, $2.99. Kidnapped from Earth by the Anzon, deemed useless by her captors, Ariel has become the prize in a brutal fight between vicious looking aliens. And the winner is the biggest, scariest, most tempting alien of them all. In Rawl's arms, Ariel will learn how truly carnal captivity can be. Also kidnapped and forced into slavery, warrior Ral is forced on freeing his fellow Zorn until Ariel. The beautiful human woman consumes him, urging Ral to claim his prize in all ways. Now she's his to love, to cherish, to protect, even from those he'd never suspect. Next, I downloaded Fever Claim by Marie Johnston. This is still available to download for free. Can he turn one night into forever? After being ditched only weeks before her wedding, Cassie Stackwell wasn't out looking for a hookup. Then the devastatingly handsome bartender she's been trying not to obsess over for months offered to give her a ride home. What could one night hurt? When his future was almost taken away after one impulsive decision, Wolf Shifter and ex-con Jace Miller waited patiently for months before making his move on the woman he knew to be his destined mate. But will one night of passion keep his little human by his side once she learns of his world and the danger it brings to her doorstep. This looks so cute. I'm definitely in the mood for a shifter romance, so I might be picking this one up very soon. <laughs> then I downloaded The Merman King's Bride by Mona Black. This is still available to download for free. A cursed king of fairy, a princess betrothed to a man she doesn't love, a kiss that will change everything. The last thing Princess Selena expects to find in the lake in the woods is a handsome merman. His name is Adar, and he saves her, teases her, kisses her, and tells her she could break his curse. Because, as it turns out, he's a fake king, cursed to remain in merman form until he finds a princess to kiss him. But one kiss is not enough, and Selena has other problems, such as getting engaged to a prince she isn't sure she even likes, let alone loves. Marrying him and having his children is not on her list of favorite things. And now she's falling for the merman. He is everything she could wish for in a man, handsome, protective, kind except that he is fey and he has a fishtail. <laughs> Still, she can't stop thinking about him, keeps going back to him, craves his kisses, would gladly have his babies. Is this a spell or is it love? Can she break the curse and save Adar? Will there be a happy ending to their story? All a girl can do is try. After all, true love is worth fighting for and Selena knows she has found it. Then I downloaded Just For Tonight by Risley Adams. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for 99 cents. Giselle Lord hasn't had a man catch her eye in years. That goes out the window in the lead up to her best friend, Danie's island elopement when she meets Roman Brathwaite. Roman is Danie's fiance's best friend and he and Giselle have orbited around each other during their best friend's entire relationship until now. The lust is instant and sparks fly. It might not be forever, but Giselle is willing to let Roman rock her life, even just for tonight. Then I downloaded Aaron by Serena Simpson. This is still available to download for free. Aaron came to Earth looking for the one thing that was denied on his home planet, a mate. He never expected to find one on Earth, fearing that the women were as fragile as the ones on his planet. Then he met Rena. Fragile or not, he finally found a woman who makes him ache. Rena has given up on men. That might change next week, but she doubts it. She wants a man that's more action than words. Her best friend drags her to a corporate party. She's not expected to meet anybody worth writing home about. 
Then she meets Aaron. Is he all talk or can he deliver? What she doesn't know is that she's being targeted by the corporation she no longer works for. Her life is in danger. Aaron who thought when he left his birth planet that he was free of them is being stalked by someone or something from there. Together they will have to navigate the dangers coming for them as they learn that love is real. Everyone deserves a chance to be loved harder, including them. Then I downloaded The Chieftain by Maeve Grayson. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Alexander McIntosh fights for hire if the cause is worthy and the price is right. Life as a mercenary suits him until a fierce beauty snatches him from death's door after the massacre at Glencoe. Though he has nothing to offer her but himself, he can't leave behind the sweet lass who risked everything to save him. When Katrina Neal promised her dying mother that she would do her best to shield the clan from her father's manical whims, she didn't realize her twin brother next in line to be the chieftain was far more dangerous than her evil sire. But the arrival of the wounded Highland warrior her brother hates and fears gives her hope and so much more. Heartbreaking treachery melds a bond between Katrina and Alexander, but can they survive long enough to nurture the love they both so desperately need? Next, I downloaded Claimed by the Viscount by Anya Cade. This is available to purchase for $3.99. Sophia, the widowed Lady Pembroke has one mission for this season, to launch her younger sister into society successfully. Between balls, soirees, and music howls, she's having almost as much fun as her sister. There's just one fly in the ointment, the rakish Viscount Thornton, who seems determined to tempt her into his bed, but she didn't count on her brother not being able to stay away from the card tables and losing everything but the clothes on his back. Forced into an impossible situation, she'll do anything to avoid scandal, even agree to the Viscount's decadent proposal. Luke Viscount Thornton is known in his, for his rakish ways and his love of widows. However, the beautiful Lady Pembroke is not the kind to fall into his bed. When her arrogant pup of a brother challenges him at cars and loses everything, Luke sees a way to make the lady his at last for at least a month. However, the feeling she stirs in him was not what he expected. When forces plot to come between them, will he let her slip through his fingers or will he fight for the woman he loves? Next, I have Kissed by the Night by Cecilia Mecca. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for 99 cents. Two unlikely childhood friends, the Baron's son and the Baker's daughter are finally reunited. Sir Tristan rides into the gates of Cambrook Castle just in time for the holiday festivities. His seven months in France haven't been the longest of Regina's life. She missed her friend dearly and is ready to celebrate his safe return until she learns Tristan's impending betrothal to another. Suddenly, the magical season loses its appeal. The only man she's ever loved, admittedly one she can never claim as anything but a friend. This is only 56 pages, so um, that sounds really cute. That really reminded me. I think it's like Cinderella 2 or Cinderella 3. The one when Anastasia gets with the baker. That reminded me of this, but it, like gender flipped because she's the daughter of the baker, but that's not really cute. <laughs> Next, I have Leave a Widow Wanting More by Charlie Lane. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $5.99. A penniless widow, a barren running from love. Will the marriage of convenience save them or tear them apart? Widow Sarah Pennington has no time for love. Sending a son to Harrow is not cheap and her husband's lies left them in poverty. When she loses her position at the bookshop, she knows marriage isn't the answer. Only her own hard work will save the day. It seems Baron Aiden can't love a woman without her dying. To keep his daughters and his heart safe, he roams the world, keeping his distance. But when his hunt for a rare book brings him back to London, he knows he must do one thing he's avoided for years, find them a mother. He needs a woman who's up for a challenge, not one to fall in love with because he's vowed to never make that mistake again. The determined lovely-eyed widow in the bookshop challenges Henry in every way. She's exactly who his daughters need, but she'd rather have a book he's after than his hand in marriage. A marriage of convenience could save Sarah and her son, but when she finds passion in the Baron's arms, she realizes security isn't enough. She wants Henry's heart if he can find the courage to trust her with it. That one sounds so stinking good. I love a good widow romance. 
This sounds so good. Next, I downloaded Seduced by Darkness by Beck McMaster. This is available to purchase for $3.99. He fell in love with the woman of his dreams, but he never realized what love would cost him. When a dark prince attends the Lamastide, Lamastide? Lamastide rites, he lays his eyes on his fated mate. The problem? She's his enemy's daughter. Okay, this is a novella from Thiago's POV about his love story with Princess Iskven. The author highly recommends reading after Promise of Darkness. I do own Promise of Darkness, so I guess after I read A Promise of Darkness, I will pick up this one, which that one is a fantasy romance I've heard a lot of people really like. Then I downloaded Taken by the Alien Pirate by Kyla Quinn. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. How did my quiet night out end up with me unconscious in an alien's cargo hold? I drink too much, but I swear I climbed into an Uber, not onto a spaceship. Or maybe the car hit me and I'm in a coma? One where I'm dreaming about big blue alien men. No, the massive muscles on the alien holding me are rock hard and real. I can't figure out if these men want to hurt or sell me, but one looks at me as if I'm more than a thing. His strange eyes are filled with something bordering on reverence. Call me crazy, but I think I've looked into those eyes before. And his touch scorches heat through my body until I ache to kiss him. There's definitely something growing between us, if you get what I mean. Big Blue takes me away from the others and we can't communicate. I don't know if I can trust him. Not that I have much of a choice, but at least he's as protective as he is possessive. If only this surly bossy alien could tell me what the strange mark on my chest is and why I find him so damn attractive. Hopefully he'll use his impressive muscles, horns, and claws to protect me from the aliens we left on the ship. Because if they don't find me, we'll need to outrun others who want to take me from him. This sounds really good. I saw um, they couldn't communicate, so like language barrier immediately downloaded. And he's an alien pirate. Sign me up twice. <laughs> then I have Enticed by an Alien Warlord by Ava Ross. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. He has tusks and a tail and insists she's his fated mate. She's enticed but determined not to get involved. Can a burly alien warrior and a single mom find love together on a planet far from Earth? Garrick. With my clan threatened, I don't have time for romance with a pesky earth female until I meet Piper. She and her youngling son are part of our planet's new settlement. Soon I find myself helping her plan her home and talking about odd earthling activities. What is a square dance and must I do it? <laughs> She's soft and lush in all the right places and I could pick her up and carry her around with one arm and her son, I ache to show him how to tame a mighty winged tundrier. Piper may say she doesn't need love, but I'll do whatever it takes to win her heart. Piper, I brought my eight-year-old son to Furlaurn to start anew. The new Wild West for calling this planet. The other women want romance, but not me. Then I meet Garrick, a seven foot tall gruff warrior who's out to steal my heart. Burned in the past, I'm afraid to trust. Never mind that he makes my son laugh for the first time in forever or that his kisses uh, not going there. But when our settlement's attacked by vicious creatures, it'll take both of us to survive the threat. Then I downloaded a sign here for Horns by VK Ludwig. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. I accidentally bought myself an alien concubine. 31, recently divorced and behind on my mortgage for my farm, I scrape my last savings together and buy myself a farmhand. That big horned alien I end up with? He's a Valdar Sahik, a male concubine, and he wants to plow more than just my fields. <laughs> Guess I should have read the fine print of the purchase contract better because the trader refuses to take him back. Now I'm stuck with a weed infested fields, red letters from the bank, and a guy who says he studied one million ways to please a female. His words. It's not like I'm going to count. Sign here. <laughs> Sign here for Horns is the first book in an interconnected alien romance comedy series featuring concubines trying to cook clean and something that rhymes with buck. <laughs> Sounds cute. I have read a VK Ludwig before, and so hopefully I do like this one too. This one sounds super funny. And the last book that I ended up downloading in March was Ramliel. I'm so sorry, I'm really bad at alien pronunciations. Um, this is still available to download for free. The Yator sent a spaceship to Earth with a seemingly simple exchange. They would provide humans with advancements 
and technology for medical and scientific purposes. And the only thing humans have to give in return were women. When Mia Brown is chosen to travel to Teague to mate with an alien, her normally mundane life is turned upside down and there's no way out of it. Now she has no choice but to pack her bags and spend the rest of her life on another planet, far from Earth. Too bad that once she arrives, the new and happy life she was promised is anything but. Her mate doesn't want anything to do with her. Ramlil Takiria has always known his mate was traveling from a distant planet and has spent his entire life trying to forget the momentous occasion was fast approaching. The contracted bond wasn't something he wanted. His father had contracted the union before he was born. Determined to live his life as his own and not shackled to a human, Ramlil's vowed to set her up in his childhood home and never cross paths with her. But a chance meeting between Mia and Ramlil leaves Mia furious that her mate doesn't recognize her and Ramlil intrigued by the female he has distanced himself from. Ramlil will do anything to earn his mate's forgiveness and have her welcome him with open arms. Their love is short-lived when a lie breaks him apart. After heartbreak and pain, can Mia trust Ram with her heart again? So there you have it. Those are the many books that I ended up downloading last month in March. <laughs> Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to, and if you've made it this far in the video, leave me a white heart emoji. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.